The long-term success of zirconia restorations depends on the quality and durability of the bond with the resin cement. However, achieving a durable bond to zirconia restoration is still a hard challenge. The glass-free structure characterizes zirconia as an acid-resistant material, and the hydrofluoric acid etching is not effective with zirconia ceramics. Clinically, the most common reported complication of zirconia restoration is ceramic veneer chipping and debonding. The bonding mechanisms are improved by the mechanical surface treatment that promotes micromechanical interlocking and chemical bond to the substrate by adhesive system. Most manufacturers recommend sandblasting on the veneer surface during manufacturing and on the interior surface as the final step before cementation. Sandblasting increases the zirconia surface area, roughness, and weightability, but air abrasion can create surface flows that may act as crack initiation site. It results also in a transformation from tetragonal to monoclinic phase. The transformed zirconia restoration can lose its chemical stability when subject to oral environment, leading to strength degradation. The aim of this in vitro study was to evaluate different zirconia surface treatments and their effect on the surface morphology and bond strengths of the adhesive system. Different surface treatments were suggested, such as the use of erbium laser as alternative surface treatment compared to other methods conventionally used. Results showed that the shear bond strength value of all studied group were significantly higher than the control, but the difference between the tested groups was not significant. The use of laser enhanced the surface roughness and increased the bond strength with significant lower transformation from tetragonal to monoclinic phase. The following conclusions can be drawn. 1. The transformation from tetragonal to monoclinic phase is directly related to the type of surface treatment. 2. The use of erbium laser with adjusted parameters appeared to be useful as a non-destructive surface treatment method. 3. The use of primers and resin cements containing MTP monomers is required to enhance the bonding efficiency.